Peggy 18. One tip. Watch where you step. Too Dark is Fred's vision, a tough subject, and for me, an opportunity to support this vision by creating graphics that can be considered cute to make this difficult subject palatable, which brought us to a style called Gore Cute. To get the renders we wanted, we had to create our own tools. So Fred developed an editor specifically for the characters in order to have characters in voxels. I've always seen my work a bit like I'm creating dollhouses. And for my inspiration, I took a bit from my childhood. You see, technically I'm a kid of the 70s, and Too Dark takes place in 1976. What's truly exciting about this dollhouse is bringing it to life and placing people in it who each have a goal, their own proper story, and their own motivation. The children, of course, can die. If you must be able to save them, then things should be able to happen to them. But if something happens, it's because the player may have played poorly, because all the kids can be saved in Too Dark. Like the graphics, music contributes enormously to the gameplay. But more than that, the gameplay was built with graphics and music in mind. From the beginning, sounds are visible and are extremely important. And of course, the music is interactive and accompanies the gameplay. Creating music for Too Dark is extremely gratifying for a composer because you do so with a truly free and independent spirit. I was able to work with a lot of freedom. This is the type of project where you can really feel the creator. The first step of creating Too Dark's music was musical research, that is to say, making music, to figure out the sound palette, to figure out the DNA, to figure its audio identity. All this, of course, comes from the principal theme, which is very important. For me, this theme was a no-brainer. In my head, I heard, Insane Lullaby. The second step is making video game music. The first arrangement is everything about ambiance, level background music, anguishing music, which stresses the player. This is usually discordant music, which kind of hovers. The second arrangement is about interactive music, which will significantly evolve based on the choices of the player. And the third arrangement is the linear music, which is the movie or cinematic music laid over the game cinematics. We made the call on the orchestra because it would give emotion, which would give it life, which would then give it purpose. There are many spots which can't be interpreted by a machine. We really needed something organic, and the orchestra allows the player, when they hear the music, not only to feel, but to feel really gut-wrenching emotions. In Too Dark, horror isn't necessarily jump scare. Above all, it's the theme of violence meant to create a very heavy and anguishing atmosphere. The gameplay is unpredictable, which leaves the player in a constant state of uncertainty. I think a top view game is much more immersive than one in 3D, especially in a game where you want the player to actually be able to lose themselves in the dark. In Too Dark, the player must be afraid to know where he is. Ah!